Ted, if you want to go first, um, then Andrew, Tom, and Philip. Sure. Um, we're good to go. We're good to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, they, um, and how, uh, just how tough was that game given the conditions and, and the way that you were forced to play in, in that wet and windy stuff out there? I mean, it's not ideal um, conditions for both sets of um, of uh, teams and, and, and players, you know, not only our game, but the, the one before us, you know, coming to the to the stadium and seeing uh, what uh, Newcastle and Central Coast had to deal with. It, was, it, it didn't get any easier or any better as the game went on, but it's the same for both teams. Uh, you know, I guess Wellington are used to those conditions and we've, uh, we've got a few boys that have played um, in England, so maybe that was... Uh, there was something in that, but overall, um, you know, on, on short notice, the game getting changed to to come here, we've had a, a difficult period of late. So, um, yeah, I thought the the boys put in a a good performance in um, in difficult circumstances, and uh, you know, we, we go home, so to speak, with something. Yeah, just just on the, uh, the difficulty with the surface at Campbelltown, how how long was that likely to affect you guys? There was some reports that it could be a few home matches. Yeah, obviously, um, I, I couldn't put a time frame on on how long, but all all I can say is that I was there on uh, on Friday, and it looked a long way off. Huh? So uh, when we'll be back there, you know, that's something for the for the stadium and the club to to work on. I've I've got a big uh, job, obviously, with my staff um, to get the playing group focused. Uh, and as I said, uh, to to concentrate on the performances that are in front of us. So wherever we play, home or away, whatever the opposition is, we need to make sure that we're um, as best prepared as we possibly can to to put on a good performance. And I think under the circumstances, um, we did okay today. Um, just one last one for me. Obviously, Philip Curso in the middle of the second half there dropped, dropped a bit of a ball into the face. Yeah. He's had a history of head knocks. How much of a concern is it for you guys? And Yeah, we'll have to monitor Philip, but also a couple of others. I mean, he's got a little cut there on his. It looked more like his cheekbone there, but the medical staff is is having a look at him at the at the moment. But just having a quick chat to him there in the in the corridor, he seems fine. He's he's okay. I, I think he's just relieved that he um, you know, was able to put in a a good performance like that because you have to understand he only came into the country, uh, I think it was five days ago, and he actually missed. Um, uh, a couple of sessions due to food poisoning, so um, he really showed his uh, quality and his experience tonight again in uh, in difficult circumstances. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Andrew Gorman from Stuff in New Zealand here. Um, just in terms of that game, um, how happy were you with the space you were able to find down the flanks? Well, you you know how Wellington play. They're they're very good um, when they sit in that block, that four four two block. They don't give you much there between the lines, and uh, we've obviously got a lot of uh, quality players in those central areas. So we wanted to shift them uh, as quickly a, as possible and and play with with width. I thought when we did get the ball out there, we looked dangerous. Um, would have liked a a bit more final product, but in the end, um, it was our it was probably um, our most uh, effective way into into their back third. So, yeah, pleased with with the way we we went about executing it. But I'm sure as the as the weeks go by and the players get to know each other a little bit more and uh, the understandings there, we can hopefully um, have a a bit more success in terms of final product. And just lastly from me, you know, you obviously picked up um, Eden Davila from the fact that he wasn't the fan he's joined you. Um, how has he been for you in pre-season so far? Excellent. And then tonight. Excellent. Oh, on and off the park, he's a, he's a gentleman. He he loves the game. He respects the game. He's fitted in ever so well with the with the playing group and the staff. And we're very fortunate to have a player of that calibre at our football club. And uh, and now as well with the with the captaincy after the uh, departure of Adam Federici has really taken that on board and uh, he's, of course he's supported by a, a great bunch of um, senior boys that we have in the dressing room as well. So yeah, delighted to have um, Uli with us and um, I'm sure that you'll see his strong performances uh, carry on throughout the season.
Melbourne stuff. Um, Craig Moon played a bit further forward for Melbourne City last season. What was the reason for kind of deploying him in that wing back role, and, and what do you kind of make of his performance there? Well, yeah, I mean, he was in a wing back role. I thought. Uh, Early on in the game, he got pinned back a little bit uh, uh, more than I would have liked. But I mean, as as you can see, as the game went on, he received a lot of the ball. Um, he was dangerous in that front third, and he was a very influential player for us. So I was very pleased with his performance. Uh, I'm still getting to know the players, of course. Um, we've 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 changed quite a few, and. Uh, uh, in saying that when, when we only have a, f a few friendly games against A-League opposition leading into the into the season, I'm still looking for that right combination. So tonight we played him in that wing-back role and I, I thought he was excellent. So um, it's something that he'll grow into, but I think it was clear for everyone to see his quality. Ian, uh, you must be disappointed by the way you conceded uh, the penalty in the first half. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I'm dis you know, disappointed with the way that um, we conceded, but it's it's one of those things that you just uh, you just have to accept and move on. But what I am pleased is that um, you know we came in at half time down. There was no panic from the boys. They remained patient. They remained focused. Um, we regrouped. We discussed a few things, and as you could see, particularly that first 20, 25 minutes, uh, that was utter domination. You know, there was only one team controlling the game, and I was really pleased with the way that we came back into it and. Uh, you know, on another night, um, you know, maybe we could have pinched all three. Great, thank you. Hi, RJ. Um, so we know you've got a lot of new faces in the squad this year. How did you go about fitting those guys into the 11 today and how do you think they went on their first league performance? Yeah, I think they went excellent on their, on their first performance. As I said, we've got a lot of in improvement in us. Um, that's, that's clear for everyone to see because We've only been together a short uh, amount of time. We haven't played the games that we wanted, but we've also got players to, to come back into this squad. So the competition for places mm -hmm. is there. Um, and as I said earlier, I'm still getting to know the players. They're getting to know me. And I'm, I'm sure the, the longer that we, uh, we work on the training field together that you'll, uh, you'll see um, you know, a bit more cohesion to, together in the playing group. Yeah, and we saw it in the second half pretty quickly. You came out a lot more front foot, it seems, especially early on. Is yeah. that some? Is that a sort of stance and approach you want to take looking forward, especially with all these new attacking talent you've got? Yeah, of course. I was. Th that was the only thing that I was sort of disappointed with the first half. I thought we got pinned back a little bit too much where we didn't need to be, and, and maybe we were a little bit uh, fragile as well. You have to understand, we uh, we played four friendly games and. You know, friendly games and, and competition are two completely different things. But in the end, still, we played four friendly games pre-season and uh, we lost all four. Huh? And uh, we, we conceded a, a, a large amount of goals. So I understand that in the back of the the players' mind, perhaps they were slightly hesitant. But I think, as, as you saw, as the game went on, we were a lot more on the front foot, a lot more proactive, um, looking forward um, a lot quicker and, and we're definitely a lot more aggressive. So. Um, the boys are, are, are disappointed not to get maximum points, but uh, you know, just speaking to a couple of them in there, they, they know that we're on the right track and they're encouraged, uh, particularly with the second half performance. Awesome, thank you so much. Is that it for everyone? Yeah, I'm all good. Okay, thanks guys. Bye-bye.